even when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gonna have you jealous uh. I know that I YouTube Cobra family We back with another video today Y'all see the title Y'all see what we got First off y'all ignore the background I know what I know the background was crazy like Y'all probably like Chris what's going on back Look Trying to try to cover the blinds up a little bit with you know some posters they they fall and yeah it's been a hectic morning but um anywho <laughs> um as y'all can see we have um a part of Club Shay Shay interview and uh, I'm pretty sure y'all know Shannon Sharp and uh his his uh whole Club Shay Shay thing and um he you know he have if y'all don't know he has a lot of you know random celebrities or you know guests on there and they come i think like i think he makes the episode like is it tw twice a week two three times a week i think i think it's like three different guests like every week or something like that two or three or maybe one something like that but um anywho this time he brought brought a uh, glow ruler and um, in this particular part, because I ain't gonna lie, y'all, it's a it's an hour, the whole thing, an hour and like thirty some minutes. This specific part was like ten minutes, ugh, ten minutes basically. And this was the part where Glow Rilla was talking about um, criticism in in this in this interview. So she was talking about criticism and I guess uh, blocking people. I saw my boy Kai in this part. Y'all know I rock with AMP. So, um, yeah, I kind of thought that whole little thing was weird anyway, like how it went down, because I, I kind of felt like Glow did take it a little too personal, if I'm being honest, and blocking him for, you know, basically his opinion. But I don't know. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts on the whole thing. Anywho, without further freaking do, take it right to. Hopefully we don't get copyrighted. I don't think we, we I, I'll find out at this. Anywho. Said some things. Uh, uh, Cassinette said some things. Even you even blocked them. Mm -hmm. You um, did you unblock them? Yeah, that was a whole joke. That was a joke. That okay. was that one serious. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, glow. I want to believe you. I want to believe you, but mm, I, I don't know, glow. I don't know. Like I really just I want. <laughs> I want to believe you, Glow, but it's like I don't know if I can right now. I I don't Glow. I don't know. I don't know. That's a I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I genuinely don't know if I can just believe Glow just because y'all. The thing is, the way it happened is so Kai said something about what it was one of her songs. She was it was like some kind of dance she was trying to do. Um. I guess she was trying to like make a little trend or something with, with the song, but basically, long story short, Kai said it was pretty bad, and he was still giving her props while he was saying this song was bad, but he was just like saying like, you know, Glow, like I know you can do better than this. This is this suck, and Glow took offense to it, and Kai basically found out that you know Glorilla blocked her. I mean, uh, Glorilla blocked him on stream. Why he was going through his, uh, you know, his followers and stuff, because his followers bring her up, and he said he ain't seen her on his feed in a minute. So he went and looked, and then he found out he was blocked. And then Glow tried to, you know, oh, um, I think it was like a week or so, like a like some day, like some days later, Glow had said, you know, I'm so drunk I might mess around and block Kai, and Kai basically said, look. Hey, it just keep me blocked. Like I don't care. Basically, just saying he don't care. And then it was another follow up video after that. That glow. Well, the people in glow backgrounds they was talking heavy and glow looked like she was offended. I ain't gonna lie, cause I think she wanted him to care, which probably made her more mad. And yeah, now we here. And now apparently after all that, she don't care. I don't know. I ain't buying it. But anywho. Like, and that's another thing people don't understand that I play too much, and I don't understand that people don't know me and don't know that I play too much. Cause they don't know you, Glow. Exactly, and I hate to realize <laughs> that because all my people they didn't even call me once they saw me trolling. They didn't even call me like, "Oh my God, what's going on?" They right. know I play like this. Right. I just play too much. Right. Yeah, I just be playing. Oh, so that's what that's believe. what you do. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm 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 glad to hear that you're playing. When you start to hear people say, "Man, Glow fell off. She a one hit wonder." 
what's going through your mind? Are you anxious to get back into the studio and prove them mofos wrong? Or are you just like, it is what it is? You know, it put me back in the mindset. It made me more hungry. Like, it put me back in the mindset from... It's the same pressure from when I first blew up and I was trying to get the hit that I had. Like, right. when I got up and up, it put me back in that mode. Like, well, you don't get it. It's like your hunger is like a hundred times right. more stronger. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, often we don't we get comfortable when we don't know we get comfortable. Right. And so, like, I feel good about myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I done made it. I did this. I did that. And so once the negative shit started coming back in, it put me right back in. All right, I'm back in grind mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all thinking I can't do this. I did it the first time. Why the fuck y'all think I can't do it again? Right. It won't look. You feel me? Like, it's talent at the end of the day. It's but see, that's the thing. It's like, I don't. I don't know, y'all. It's like a part of me want to believe it, but it's like glow. Like you kind of, you you kind of like eating your own words right now because, like, or well, AKA contradicting yourself because how you how you saying this and then you your action is so differently, you know? Cause I mean, obviously, we all know y'all. If you if you go out your way to block somebody, you obviously have an issue with something they posted. Let's be honest. If you block it, if you go out your way to block somebody, you obviously have an issue with something they said, something they posted, something, whatever the case may be. You don't just out of, out of nowhere wake up one morning and be like, hmm, I want to block this person for no reason. Like, come on now. Y'all do the math. It's God. It was God first. Being blessed. And it's the hard work. Like, right. You feel me? Why the fuck would you think I could do it again, bitch? I'm finna do it just like I did the first time, the second time, the third time. We're gonna do this shit again. So how do you yeah, block out the noise? I ain't talking to you. I'm talking about like people. No, I understand that. No, but I, no, 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 no. I understand. But I'm saying, how do you, how do you block out the noise? You say you're not on internet, but you do hear. I mean, if you don't hear it, you got people around you. You got your team to yeah. hear it, what they yeah. say, yeah. and yeah, they see, come back to glow. The thing with me is criticism. I like it. Like, all my friends know when I talk to them, I'm the most blunt person they'll ever meet. Like, if 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 you my friend and shit and you got a hole in your shirt or like you got an outfit I'm like, I'm gonna tell you, I ain't gonna lie, your outfit weak as hell, but you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'm so honest and so I be telling them I want y'all to be dead honest with me. Like, don't tell me everything good. I'm gonna feel like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, don't lie to me. Like, tell me criticism because when I go out in the, in the public, they gonna say it anyway. Right. So, mm -hmm. it's certain shit that I take from criticism. Like, when people be talking shit like, oh, she did this. It's this, is that. Okay, I'm finna take heed to that right. and fix it. How did God tell you to handle the criticism? Man, God to be like Beyonce to the bullshit. <laughs> 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 he be like, don't worry about it. Like, he just don't be on it. But, yeah, I can see that. I can, I can definitely see that, but... I don't know, y'all. Let's finish this out. Now, I'm going to give some more opinions on this. You know what? People say that, but that is harder than it is because they ain't talking about him. They talking about you. Yeah. But like I said, I like it. I mean, I don't... Sometimes, like I said, it will make you feel some type of way at the end sure. of the day. And then it's like having confidence. Okay, right. you saying that, but that don't mean the truth. All y'all saying, this ain't good, that ain't good. It don't mean the truth. Right. Did you feel you blew up too fast because you were like here one day and the next day you way up here? Mm. So with That's that, a good one. Um, I ain't gonna say it's too fast. I feel like everything is perfect timing. Okay. You feel me? So it's like... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like some people do, just blow up like quick. Like and I think Glow a prime example. She, she blew up quick. Like her Ice Spice, um, yeah, her Ice Spice and um, Sexy Rick, they blew up quick. Like, yeah, I'm talking about they blew up in the in, in extraordinary, especially Ice Spice and Glow. Like especially them two. Like they blew up so quick. Like, mind y'all, Ice Spice and I think Glow around the same time, they only been in the rap game for a year and they, they, they made this big name for themselves already. And Sexy Red too, like, they they made themselves be quick. And I, despite all the criticism, like, each three of them is getting, like, like, obviously they all hearing different things, but Despite how much criticism like each of them is getting, like you can't not like they, you know, they hustle and you know all the hard work they did to put to get in their position. Especially Glow, like Glow, she, you can tell like she didn't put in a lot of work. Like, she's very passionate about what she's doing, which is why I think like she, 
whether she want to admit it or not. Like sometimes, like when people give certain opinions, like it do get to her a little bit. But it's understandable though, because when you're passionate about some, and somebody critiquing you to di di like every every tiny little thing, like you gonna get like that. So, yeah. I blew up fast, so I didn't have the time to make mistakes like everybody, like the normal artists mm -hmm. that gradually blow up. Mm -hmm. They have a chance to make mistakes, and it's not just the public. I just not own them all mm -hmm. the way. Mm -hmm. But since I went from zero to 100, it was like, damn, I ain't got, like, the time to go in yeah. between the 20s, 40s, 50s, right. 60s, yeah, and, like, exactly. make my little mistakes mm -hmm. without the whole world just being on me so mm -hmm. hard. But yep. even with, like, all the pressure, it really just still make you a stronger person mm -hmm. at the end of the day. When you have a hit, how much pressure is it on you when you have a hit like that and you blow up to feel that everything that you got to make after that got to be at that level? That's where I start overthinking it <clears throat> because my first three songs was big. Mm -hmm. My first three songs mm -hmm. I ever dropped. And so it was like when I after I dropped my EP and it did good, too, and I had sold out my first tour and everything, it was like, OK, I sold out my first tour with the small rooms. Mm -hmm. So now I got to make bigger songs and get the bigger rooms right. instead of I, I wasn't. It, it was yeah, it was pressure of just thinking I gotta go so big. But you do realize, Glow, you can make great music and it might not have the commercial success. Mm -hmm. And I like to use mm -hmm. Michael Jackson as an example. Yeah. Like Thriller, mm -hmm. it drove him mm -hmm. crazy because every song that he made after Thriller, he thought it was gonna be that. That's an anomaly. That's a once in a lifetime thing. Really? Is this true? Y'all did Michael Jackson really think that? If he, oh, well, you know what? Well, he probably did. He probably did, but. I'll be the first to tell y'all, like, well, we all know this, but every, it's crazy. I've never thought this about an artist, but NJ is the first one. Every song he dropped is literally like a banger. Like every song, I'm talking about 10 out of 10. Like I'm, every song, every song. Mm -hmm. Same thing with me with Cat Williams. Everybody's like, man, you ain't gonna never get another cat. I understand that. But mm -hmm. that doesn't mean I'm not gonna do a, qu a quality conversation. Mm -hmm. So exactly. even if you don't have the commercial success as the first two or three, that doesn't mean you're not making great music. Exactly. Do you understand that? Yeah. I understand now. But it's still hard though. You still, because that high of making that music and the way you feel and in the, in the, in the city and, and it's buzzing, right. like, blow that. Oh, she that. Yeah, you know what you are. Uh -huh. You want to feel that again. There's nothing like that initial high. There's nothing like that. And you chase it. Right. It's just like a fiend. Mm -hmm. That first high, right. there's nothing mm -hmm. like it. Mm -hmm. That first high you got when you made that first one and Memphis was buzzing. And then that thing went to Texas and it went to Georgia and it went right. to New York and to Cali. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. You crave it. You can't, you, you can't put it down. That was a great example. That was a great analogy. That table boy, you good, huh? <laughs> I ain't drinking no more. I'm drinking water now. I'm on this water. I'm on this water hard. So, do you? Is it harder now that you've done it? Oh shoot! Hold on, y'all. Let me check on this food real quick. Give me one second. All right, y'all. I'm back. All right. Now where were we? Cause you. I mean, like, I'm. A, I, this is how I feel. If I do something once, I can do it again. Right. So do you feel that same way? Do you feel like, well, hell, I made a hit. I made two hits. I made three hits. Hell, why can't I make four, five, six, seven, eight? That's how you, that's yeah. how you're supposed to feel. Like mm -hmm. me, um, I'm, I'm super big on God. And so like, um, like, so my mama, she'd be like, what can I do for you? Like, cause you know, I pay my mom bills. I pay my parents bills. What can I do to help you? I'd be like, just pray for me. Like. Mm. And keep me in your prayers. Right. And and I just feel like that's going to always, long I got God on my side. So, you know, shit can seem slow at one point. Right. But like they say, he may not come when you want him, when right. you want him but he going to always be there. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like long as I'm staying prayed up and I'm actually doing the work and I'm actually speaking what I want into existence and actually going for it, it's nothing that can stop me. You do realize mm. it's the prayers you didn't even know your mom was praying mm. that got you this far. Exactly. Mm. But when you hear LeBron James saying, yeah, Glow, and you know who LeBron is, I don't need to know. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> off without any further explanation. Right. When you hear someone like that jamming, rocking out to yours, mm -hmm. how does that make you feel? I, like, that was a feel, like, that was a high. 
Because, like, I was getting a massage. I was out here, right? Yeah. So I was getting a massage. And I'm hearing my phone blow up on the little massage table. I'm like, oh, whatever it is, I'm going to get yeah, it. Yeah, they, 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 they disturbing your peace yeah, right now. Yeah, just like, disturbing my <laughs> peace. But they were doing it right. So I looked at my phone. Everybody called me like, you know, LeBron just posted your song. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what? So I instantly, uh, go reposting and stuff. Then I was talking to, um, I was talking to Rick, my manager. He right. was like, uh, I think you should go to the game. I said, hey, yeah, I want to go to the game. They got a game tonight. I'm going to pull up to that joint. I went straight to Rodeo Drive, got me something to wear. Me and my friend, we're going to go to the game. I'm going to get over with LeBron because like, this is one of the best. <laughs> Not one of the best. This is the best right. player in the league right now. Right. Kobe, my favorite player. Okay. Uh oh, that's going to start some. Uh oh. Cueing all the uh, MJ fans. Lord have mercy. Michael Jordan fans. Kobe. Then LeBron after him. Okay. And so, like, that was something, like, you know how hers LeBron is? Yeah, but they say he ain't know not one word. But he it didn't knew the words. He did. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched LeBron rap songs and I know the words for real. Right. He knew yeah, Glow. He probably ain't say, like, certain words, but right. that was good for him because he right. don't be knowing songs for real. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Exactly. He knew more words than the usual when he was singing yeah, Glow. So that, <laughs> I feel like, I feel crazy. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before do something. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. First off, clap it up for uh, Shannon Sharp, man. Like, y'all, like, he, he been on, like, a crazy little run, man. Like, the, the whole, like, him starting, like, doing this whole Club Shay Shay thing, like, yeah, it really took off for him. Like, I'm happy and proud for uh, Shannon, man. And uh, as for Glow, I really, first off, I'm, I'm, like I told you, I'm happy for her, too. Like, I'm very proud of Glow, too. And I'm, it's really, like, good to see what her career is, like, really going. Because, like she said, having somebody like LeBron... You know, trying to at least trying to read, you know, recite your music lyrics. That's still, like she said, that's good enough. Cause we all know LeBron do he, he do kind of suck at knowing lyrics, but yeah, this this is this is like very wholesome. Like I, I really hope her and um, it seemed like ain't none no ill you know intentions between her and Kyle. Like ain't nothing like ill mannered, but um, hopefully they can like I, I think in the future they'll they'll like just they'll see each other and then somebody will speak. I feel like, because th th it wasn't nothing to really, like, you know, go back and forth about, like, to be honest. Like, like I said, I, I understand, like, you know, like I told you, when somebody's passionate about something and they, you know, have a moment where they just, like, ooh, they're they, they, they going to feel like you, you know, they're going to get defensive and feel like you talking smack about what they're doing. So, but like I said, I mean, it seemed like she in good spirits. I know Kai in good spirits. So, um, I'm... I'm pretty sure they'll they'll rekindle what they had. I'm I'm pretty sure, but I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens in the future, y'all. But uh, anywho, that's gonna do it, y'all. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts and know what y'all think. And um, yeah, that's it. Y'all say say stay out of trouble. Love y'all. And I'll see y'all next one. Now bye.